Hello dear YouTube family and welcome back to Liftoff. As usual, we will always keep you updated with the latest news and everything related to the space niche world. In today's video, we will be telling you about Turkey's first national communication satellite, TurkSat 6A, will be launched by SpaceX. Stay tuned. Turkey has been making some serious investments in space and satellite technologies for quite a while. In this context, one of the projects that will be worked on is the satellite called TurkSat 6A. The satellite, which is expected to be completed at the end of 2022 and launched into space in 2023, will be registered as Turkey's first national communication satellite. Meeting with members of the press last week, Adil Karismailoglu made important statements regarding TurkSat 6A. He announced that Elon Musk's company SpaceX has agreed to launch the satellite into space. It will perform this operation with Falcon 9 rocket. Turksat AS provides launch services for Turksat 6A. Minister Karismailoglu emphasized that the agreement is the first contract made directly with the launcher company. In a government statement, Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Adil said the government considered many launcher companies before selecting SpaceX, which offers the best solution in terms of technical, administrative and financial aspects. Planned to be launched in the first quarter of 2023, Minister Kairis Mailoglu emphasized that the production and testing process of the satellite to be produced is planned to be completed at the end of 2022 and to be launched within the first quarter of 2023. Testing Phase Minister Adil Kairis Mailoglu said engineering model integration activities of the project have been completed and the test phase has started. It is expected that the satellite flight model integration activities will be completed and the environmental phase will be started in 2021. TurkSat 6A satellites will also be subjected to standard and commercial test phases accepted in the satellite industry. Noting that the launch services of the TurkSat 6A satellite are under the responsibility of TurkSat AS, Karisma Loglu said. In this context, the necessary studies and preparations are carried out in coordination with the project managing institution, Tubitak Yuse, and other stakeholders. The solutions and proposals of many launch companies were meticulously examined for the provision of the launch service. As a result of evaluations and negotiations, the best solution in technical, administrative and financial terms. The Falcon 9 rocket from SpaceX, located in the United States, which offers a launch service and was chosen as the launcher. In this context, TurkSat and SpaceX company signed a contract for the supply of the TurkSat 6A satellite. The contract is also the first contract signed directly with the launcher's company, rather than the satellite manufacturer, for the launch service as TurkSat AS. Activities and transactions within the scope of said launcher, the contract for the acquisition of services, will be in charge of the expert staff of TurkSat AS. TurkSat 6A will be the country's first communication satellite built domestically by the Tubitac Space Technologies Research Institute. The spacecraft will operate from 42 degrees east with a payload of KU and X band transponders. It is not the first time SpaceX has to deal with Turkey. Previously, in January 2021, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket thundered into space from Cape Canaveral and deployed a Turkish communications satellite Thursday night, the first of more than 40 Falcon rocket missions scheduled this year from launch pads in Florida and California. The Falcon 9 did just that Thursday night, after a delay of more than 45 minutes to assess the readiness of downrange tracking station in Gabon. The launch eventually proceeded without the tracking antenna and the Falcon 9 lit its nine Merlin 1D main engines to fire off Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station at 9.15pm EST Thursday. This is going to secure much more high quality TV and communication systems for us, Adil Karisma Loglu, Chief of Turkey's Transport and Infrastructure Ministry, said from Ankara during a Turkish language broadcast. After four months and 20 days after liftoff, the satellite will reach its destination at 31 degrees. After arcing due east from Cape Canaveral, the Falcon 9 shed its first stage booster about two and a half minutes into flight before beginning its descent toward the SpaceX drone ship parked 400 miles east of Cape Canaveral in the Atlantic Ocean. 
While the first stage booster targeted a vertical landing and the floating drone ship, two SpaceX vessels were on station in downrange waters to retrieve the Falcon 9's two-piece payload shroud. The Falcon 9 booster nailed its landing on the just read the instructions drone ship in the Atlantic about eight and a half minutes after liftoff, completing the reusable rocket's fourth trip into space and back. An update on the fairing recovery effort was not immediately available from SpaceX. The Falcon 9's single-use upper stage, meanwhile, performed two engine burns before releasing the Turksat 5A spacecraft into an elliptical, supersynchronous transfer orbit about 33 minutes after launch. US military tracking data indicated that the Falcon 9 rocket released Turksat 5A in an orbit ranging between 177 miles and 34,000 miles in altitude, with an inclination of 17.66 degrees. The satellite secured Turkey's orbital rights for the next 30 years, covering Europe, the Middle East, the large regions of Africa, as well as the Mediterranean, the Aegean and the Black Sea region. Turkish officials confirmed Thursday night that ground teams received the first radio signals from the Turksat 5A after launch, allowing controllers to begin healthy verifications and post-launch checkouts. Turksat 5A, with a launch weight of around 7,500 pounds, deployed its first generated solar panels and extended articulating pods holding plasma thrusters, which slowly circularized the satellite's orbit at a geostationary altitude more than 22,000 miles over the equator. At that altitude, Turksat 5A circled Earth at the same rate the planet rotates. The orbit raising phase of the mission lasted about four months. The electric thrusters were more fuel efficient than the conventional liquid fueled rocket engines that produced less thrust. The satellite entered service by mid year along the equator at 31 degrees east longitude, where its 42Q band transponders reached Turksat customers across Turkey, the Middle East, and Europe large swathes of Africa, the Mediterranean, the Aegean Sea and the Black Sea. Turksat awarded Airbus and SpaceX contracts to build and launch the Turksat 5A and the Turksat 5B satellites in November 2017. Followed a meeting between SpaceX founder CEO Elon Musk and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Turksat 5A is one of the most powerful satellites in Turksat's fleet, according to her son Hasein Ertok, the company's deputy general manager. It also helped to secure Turkish frequency rights at the 31 degrees east slot, where a Turkish-owned satellite was not operating since 2010. Now that we have come to the end of the video, will SpaceX achieve further successful launches for the next few years? Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.